get format. If I were to write get format here below this field dot embed font, that method would then go and make sure that my font for this create field two is again Tahoma bold. And I'd, I, I'd like it to be Tahoma normal this time. So how do I do that? So instead of writing Tahoma bold, if I could pass a parameter out of this method, which would then allow me to define the font within these two methods here, I could then keep this method universal. So I've explained it to you in a technical sense. Let me do it properly. So I'm going to create a parameter here and let's call it font name. Okay. And typify that as a font. Fine. So this function or this method here not only restitutes this text format back to my original method, it also requires this value. So instead of writing term of bold here, now I'm going to write font name. Therefore, since it's going to require the value, when I call this get format method, it's going to require a value. I'm going to pass the value here, term of bold. So when I run it now, one second, let me check. Okay, I found two problems really. Basically, there's an S missing here and there's the letter N missing it. So I've definitely become dyslexic now. When I run it, everything is running fine. This is my title. So when this private method here gets run, not only does it require a value, which it gets from here, and then passes on to here. So basically this piece of text becomes Tehoma underscore bold dot font name as it was before. But then after it's executed this method here, it passes the entire result back to my original method create field, applies the width and height values, and then adds the child to the stage. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with my create field too. 